to me, being a woman is breaking stereotypes. It's not fitting into the box. It's not listening to what, it's not listening to all the noise that, that is overwhelming and consumes you all the time because when you're a woman, when you have the aesthetics of a woman, people constantly try to fit you in a box and the box is really small. So to me, being a woman is opening that box. It, it's probably really difficult to do it, but it's definitely possible. And to stepping out and to never going back into that box and to be whatever it is that your heart desires. That to me is being a woman. On top of that, being a woman to me, um, we're not minorities, but we are, you know, like in every aspect of life, you feel like you're always there, that right at the bottom of the pit, right? So being a woman is also fighting against the system that has been set in place to break us and to make us fail in life. So it's a fight, it's a battle, but it's a beautiful journey. And that is what being a woman is to me. I never thought I would be doing this. I never thought I'd be in front of the camera. I'm, I'm someone who's like always at the back, right? And my, my passion, my love, my everything is, is writing, hardcore, um, hard news, journalism kind of stuff, right? But um, having done it for, for most of my career, right? I realized that the issues I care the most about, sexism, racism, everything that has an ism at the end of it and is negative, Malaysians don't care about it. So instead of sitting on my high horse and constantly trying to, you know, shove a bunch of information and like to change the world from this using the same format, I decided to do videos, right? And well, turns out it works. Turns out people respond to, um, to, to basically having a face to an opinion, right? So that's how I ended up doing this. And the topics I pick um, are things that affect me. I feel like a lot of people always ask me that, like, how do you figure it out? Or like, is someone else doing it? No, I, I produce my stuff, I, I do everything. So it's my baby. The reason why I pick the topics I pick is because those are the things that affect me the most, right? Um, that's like a little pyramid, right? There's like race, there's sex, their skin color, i.e. sex, gender, right? And in all of it, I am at the bottom of the barrel. I am a woman, that puts me right on at the bottom. I'm an Indian, that means I'm a minority, I'm also at the bottom. And well, look at the skin color, that's also at the bottom of the barrel. It's like being a black woman in other parts of the world, including here. No one cares, cares about you, no one gives a shit about what you want to say, because you don't matter, because for centuries, people have told us or people who look like me, that we don't matter. So the topics I pick are always, always, I feel like always kind of runs back to the trouble and the problem and the issues that comes with being a minority. Like these are things that I have to face, racism, um, patriarchy, and people constantly telling me that I, should, I shouldn't wear something or I should do something, right? Again, it all comes back down to being stuffed in a box, right? You, look, you feel like, you're, you're like you've been stuffed into like a sardine can. That's how frustrating it is being a female all the time. So that's why I do what I do because I feel like the world needs to really just freaking wake up and realize that um, that's not how it's gonna play out anymore and people can do whatever they want. People can be whatever they want. People can wear whatever they want. People can do anything so long they're not hurting others. So long it's not the, at the expense of someone else's pain. Why? Well, how can you have like, holy ash, when you your boobs, oh my God, I can see your cleavage. Oh, you're not a proper Indian girl, oh, fuck off. Seriously, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. I'm sorry, Jeremy, I edit that. It's really frustrating. I don't see the point of, of covering myself up. I will wear a crop top if I want to. Um, I will wear a freaking hijab if I want to. I will wear whatever I want because it is my body. And I will pray, I will not pray. And that doesn't affect you and that shouldn't affect anyone else but me. And colors. Oh man, I really love colors. Like, look at me, I got like green, white, then like a pink here. If possible, I'll have like maybe a bit of blue eyeshadow. Lord knows why, but I'll do it anyway. I've always been a fan of colors. I was that kid who spent most of her afternoons after school doing DIY stuff. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For putting out with all my weird art supply requests. Um, so I've always been a huge fan of colors. The reason why I have the brightest lipstick colors or like the brightest earrings or clothes is because 
they make me feel happy. And like, I, I have a friend at work who always says that it's like when you put on like colored dresses or like floral dresses, it looks like you made an effort, but actually you didn't. It's like, I don't even iron my clothes. I'm like, here, okay, it's like from the laundry pile to like my body. So it's perfect. Uh, but I've always been a fan of colors. Um, I just like contrasting colors. So colors, colors, colors. I think it goes with my personality. I'm someone who's always happy. Um, I don't, I don't subscribe to the whole. Um, if like um, you're wearing blue, you shouldn't have like yellow lipstick because it doesn't go. I'm like, I don't care. I will put on three colors on my lips and on my face if I want to, because like I mentioned all the time, you do you. If you want to have three different colors on your lips, go ahead. Um, also. The combination of colors or the, com the choice of like clothing that you decide to go with, that's just you. Like you can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, whatever you put your body, you put your body. Like what's a big deal? Nandini wants to... Nandini can't, maybe, maybe, maybe just maybe Nandini can't change the world because the world is a huge place. And that's only so much I can do. I might be dead before I can like finish doing whatever it is I want to do. I want people to remember the values that I, I truly believe in because I feel like as cliche as this whole thing sounds, I want to leave behind something that feels like it has made a difference in people's lives. So I want say in like, you know, in the one year or like two year or whatever that I've been doing this, at the end of it all, maybe like 10, 15, 20 years, I want women, maybe not too far, just women who live in this country at least, or women who look like me, to be able to wear and be themselves, unapologetically, without making apologies for their size, color, or choices in life. If you wanna slip around, sure, you do you. If you wanna not do that, that's, that's fine too. I just want, at the end of it all, for minorities, to feel like they belong in the room. And that is, to me, probably one of the most important reasons why I do what I do.